Today, we're going to take a look at probably the best investment idea. My colleague has got his finances fairly well sorted out. He has some buy-to-lets. He's paid well into his company pension, and that's doing well. He's in a very fortunate position there. But now he's looking to find somewhere else to place his cash. He's got six months of cash already stored in case of emergencies. And his excess cash, over and above all of that, he's looking for somewhere to put it. He's been tying the idea of getting into the stock market. And probably the best, simplest way is to go to the Vanguard platform. And we're now on the platform. And we go to what we offer. Uh, open an account. If you go to open an account, um, I have an existing Vanguard account, I'm new to Vanguard, that's where you open the account, it's quite a simple process, but we're going back to home, and we are going to look at the options, they have a stocks and shares ISA, this is an um, an account which is um, based in the UK where your dividends and any profits you make are totally cash free. The only downside is you only load one ISA per year and there's a maximum you can pay in. I believe that's £20,000 at the moment. Uh, that's the stocks and shares ISA. Um, there's also a personal pension which you operate through this platform. But in my colleague's case, he's got his pension nicely sorted out. But so what he really wants, um, this is for his daughter, which I'll talk to him about later on as a junior ISA, is a general account. Learn more about general accounts. And this is what he'll go for. Um, invest without limits. A simple way to invest at a fraction of the cost of its rivals and which has given it um, a great rating um, many times over. What is a general account? It's an investment account that helps you save for your future and there's no upper limit on how much you can invest. Um, unlike a stocks and shares ISA or personal pension, any returns or income from your investment will be subject to tax. But in the UK, you have um, an allowance for capital gains and also, I believe, the first £1,000 in dividends per year is tax-free. And the reason says here, why choose a general account? Low cost, which is very important. Straightforward. Our range of funds give you a low cost and easy way to diversify and opening an account takes just 10 minutes. Over 45 years experience. And it says shows you here how to open an account. Enter a few personal details, choose your fund, decide how much to invest. You can invest £100 per month or do it in one-off £500 lump sums. So that's where we are. What we offer, these are the type of funds you can invest in. Our full list of funds. So it's just loading. Uh, the first one, as an example, Life Strategy 20% Equity Fund. This um, has a risk level of 4 out of 7. It invests 20% in shares and 80% in bonds. So it's low risk, but the return will be lower. Bonds are government loans where the interest is paid by the government, so they're virtually 100% guaranteed to pay. But by having said that, as they have such a good um, low risk investment on the bonds, the interest rates are lower. Then as a life strategy, 40% equity fund, there's a different balance that you want, 60%. Shares, 80%, 100% equity. 
Then we're coming on to um, Target Retirement Fund. My colleague, I believe, has got another 30 years um, work um, ahead of him. So he'll be aiming to retire in about 2055. Now, this is a Target Retirement Fund, full fund details. It's a, um, the fund's investment obje objective is to achieve an increase in value and consistent with a gradually changing asset allocation, hold investments that will pay out money for investors planning to retire in or within approximately five years after 2055. The fund's assets allocations will become more conservative as 2055 is approached and passed, moving from higher risk such as shares to mainly low risk such as bond investments. So you've got to do no thinking on this one. You just pay in and it's all sorted out for you. And past performance, we can look at um, the graphs here. Uh, 2019 it made 18%, um, last year 2023 it grew by 11%. The um, portfolio data, this is actually what the um, portfolio is made up from. And that's made up of groups of exchange traded funds. And these are funds where they invest in various companies. So you are getting such a wide, diverse um, range of investments, um, such as the United States World Equity Index, Developed World, um, excluding UK Equity Index, All Shares Index, Government Bonds, Stock Index. So this is a very, very um, um, wide um, spread of investments. And... We will go to, we'll go back to the next one. Uh, if I go to what we offer, our full list of funds. So we've looked at two options, um, a life strategy one and a one where you want to put your money away for the future for retirement, which is a very safe investment. Then moving on to another one, um, which I actually have, is where I want some income. And I want the income now. So I've actually gone for the um, FTSE All World High Dividend Yield ETF. Now you can have it so the money's reinvested, so the fund keeps growing, or you can take it so you um, have the dividend payments in the form of cash. Um, the fund details, it's 100% shares, it is a high risk and it's um, global, so it covers all of the world and it holds um, shares in 1,945 1, companies. The fund details, um, income generating, uh, if we go to that, and um, actually at the moment, um, the number of stocks that hold as of 31st of December, we're now sitting on the um, 7th of January, 1,854. And past performance, um, you, as you can see, in 2019, the fund grew by 21%, and last year, 2023, it grew by 11%, which is in common with most um, um, stocks. Uh, so, and if we go to portfolio portfolio data um the fundamentals uh it goes to the countries or regions that the um um, um fund invests in north america is 45% um of the fund is invested in north american companies then we've got 26% europe 15% pacific 11 emerging markets, 0.2% um, Middle East. And the actual countries, uh, North America is 42%, Japan 8.4%, United King Kingdom 76 Switzerland 49 
and the list goes on. And going down further, this is the um, the exposure, the sectors. 25% um, is exposed to the financials, 11% uh, to consumer staples, then we've got energy, healthcare, as you can see. Then this is the actual percentage of the total number of shares held in each company. Now, this is the first um, 10. We've got JP Morgan Chase & Co, US Bank. Everyone know them, or if you're in the US, you do. Exxon Mobil or SO Petrol, we know them. Broadcom, I believe they're um, a communications company. Johnson & Johnson, everyone knows them. Um, Procter & Gamble, Home Depot, which is an American company. Nestle, that's your chocolate and other items. Um, Samsung Electronics, that's the Korean, South Korean massive conglomerate. Um, Merck and & Co. and Chevron Group, which is um, the um, oil company that most people should know. Um, then we're going on to the next, the next group of, um, we've got, AbV, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Toyota, Shell, Bank of America. As you can see, these are all large companies, but they're a small percentage um, of the total holding because the overall um, holding is over 1,800 shares. So this is the one that I invest in, and it actually pays out every um, three months a dividend which is quite, um, well, that's what I'm aiming for, is to um, go for capital growth and actually get an income from the um, from the um, fund. Uh, so that's the um, payment dates, 14th of December, September, June. Um, oh, ex-dividend. The payment dates is 27th of December, 27th of September, 28th of June and um, that's the payments per um, um, share that you hold in um, the ETF. Uh, then we go for the overview. Um, the charges are minimal, 0.29%. Um, charges are hidden up with a lot of um, exchange traded funds where the fund hold groups of shares but this is quite a transparent um, fund and it is highly recommended um, and as we can see that's the past performance of the fund uh, I don't think there's much more else I can say um, you have to buy um, one stock you can't buy part stock so in this case You've got to buy them in multiples of £49.21, but that price does vary um, <clears throat> as time progresses. Uh, distribution. So that is another fund worth bearing in mind. But if you don't need the income, you could have it so it's accumulating. And what that means is um, the dividends are reinvested into the... Um, um, into the um, exchange traded fund uh, so going back um, having another look another one what um, my colleague was interested in he wanted exposure to um, non-US markets because he feels as though the United States markets is um overpriced at the moment uh, but having said that the um, the, the um, dividend paying fund does cover such a broad spectrum I wouldn't worry too much but they do have um, there are some other funds worth looking at uh, Japan stock index specific X Japan so that specific region um, excluding Japan, Asia Pacific, and we get the fund details there. Uh, invest this this fund invests in 118 stocks, 
it's quite a high risk level. If we go to portfolio data, um, number of stocks, I said it's 118. And we um, a specific region, uh, and that's the countries that invest in is Australia, Hong Kong, Singapore, New Zealand. And uh, the, pr the proportion of sectors is financials, materials, real estate, and the list goes on. Then we go for companies, but a lot of these companies won't be familiar to you because, as I said, they're Australian, um, New Zealand, and um, Hong Kong based. So that's another um, fund you could possibly invest in. Um, but as you, as I say, it does need a bit of um, thinking about. But if you're looking for income. I would go for the uh, ETF, um, the dividend paying ETF that I mentioned. Or if you're looking to retire and don't want to touch your funds, you can go for a uh, proper um, target retirement fund where all the work is done for you. And I'll just show you where the ETF again is. Uh, and there are many other funds, depending on what you want to invest in and what your um, requirements are, if you want an income or long-term growth. Um, but as I say, I, I invest in the um, FTSE All World High Dividend Yield ETF, and it's done quite well at the moment. It's paying nice dividends and increasing in value. I hope you found this interesting. Um, if you're new to investing and you want to get into the stock market, I highly recommend the Vanguard. And if you ever read up, it has the best possible um, reports and write-ups. And it is recommended by Which, which is a much respected consumer um, uh, in, um, site where they... Um, Check it out. Um, I wish I could have invested in Vanguard for years. What does it say here? I'll just go to this. Um, <clears throat> which High Five Vanguard is endorsed once again by which for a fifth year running Vanguard has been singled out for praise by the consumer champion in its annual survey of UK investment platforms. Here's why. And that explains why. It it has got low um, charges, etc. So I hope you found this interesting. So if I were you looking to invest, go over to the Vanguard site and see what you make of it. Um, if you look, you can have a look at our um, website, youaremovingup.com. Also, you can um, have a look at the other videos on our channel. And I'm assuming you're watching this video on You Are Moving Up channel on YouTube. Please like and subscribe because this does motivate me to keep producing videos and hopefully will help my channel to grow. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I bid you a really, really successful investing adventure.